Welcome! We are here to talk about PBIS classroom management practices. Today we'll talk about active supervision. Look around. Walk around. Talk around. When you employ active supervision, you're using a process for monitoring the classroom or any school setting that incorporates scanning, frequent and intentional visual sweep of all parts of the classroom. When you are scanning, frequently and intentionally look around at students. Visually sweep all areas of the room, as well as look directly at students near you. If you're working with an individual, position yourself so you can scan the entire room or get up and scan occasionally. Employing active supervision also includes moving, continuous random teacher movement throughout all parts of the classroom. When you are using movement, circulate among the students to supervise. Use continuous movement. Make use of proximity with students and make your movements random or unpredictable. You can move close to non-compliant students and it helps you demonstrate interest in what the students are doing. Use movement periodically even when you're providing individual or small group instruction. Effective teachers use body positioning purposefully. While instructing the class may mean going up front to get attention, you should move around when you're giving instruction. When you are circulating, keep moving. Employing active supervision also involves interacting with frequent and positive communication to encourage, reinforce, and correct. Interacting with your students while you are moving and scanning communicates that you care. It establishes trust and respect. It creates a positive climate and increases the likelihood that students will accept feedback when they need to. When you interact with a student, you can include pre-corrections. You can take the time to remind them of behavior expectations and you can give periodic prompts to the whole group. Remember, address the student by name and make eye contact. Active supervision allows you to provide immediate learning assistance. It increases student engagement. It reduces inappropriate behaviors, provides knowledge on whether students are using expectations, allows you to provide frequent encouragement, allows timely correction, and builds positive student relationships. It's kind of like when the police patrol your neighborhood. We're all more likely to behave when we know someone's watching, and we feel safer. While students are working independently or in small groups or centers, scan and move around the classroom and check in with students. Or, while monitoring students on the playground, move around and interact. Observe behaviors of individuals and the group and scan the entire area as you move around. When you're consciously working to use active supervision, you are fulfilling all four quadrants of Danielson, but particularly Domain 2. Consciously using active supervision can help you build strong teacher-student relationships. Over and over, research has shown that relationships are the key to academic success and that one stable and committed adult relationship can make the difference for a child. John Hattie's research has shown us that teacher-student relationships have a 0.72 effect size on student learning, nearly double what is needed to prove that an intervention is successful. When you employ active supervision, you can create a trauma-informed classroom. Active supervision allows you frequent opportunities to interact with students and build relationships. Remember, just 15 seconds at a time is long enough to have a meaningful connection with a student. Employing active supervision will also help you identify triggers and prevent problem behavior and provide a sense of safety for students who know you are looking, walking, and talking. For most children in your classroom, they have to develop relatively little of their brain's resources to survival. They can give most of their resources to learning or cognition. For the child of trauma, more of their brain's resources are given over to survival and relatively little to cognition. If you can help build stronger relationships through active supervision, you may be able to impact that. Employing active supervision will help you engage in the adult behaviors that make a difference for students. Proximity, listening, eye contact, smiles, applause.
pleasant tone of voice and use of the student's name. Thanks for watching. We will move on to watching some videos and doing some exercises on employing active supervision. We know you already know a lot of this, and you're probably using active supervision in your class already, but let's be purposeful about it, and you can up your classroom management game.